Hey what's up you guys, it's Forge here and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today's going to be a little bit of a short one partially because I don't really have much time to get this out. So yeah, today we are going to be looking at the wireless crafting table mod and add-on for Applied Energistics 2. So yeah, as always if you guys enjoy it, find this useful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys. That's my outro. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is going to be a little bit of a short one mostly because there are only three items actually in this mod but i'm going to show you how to use them so yeah the first thing you're going to need to make is the wireless crafting terminal and that's what this whole mod's based around so yeah that is made with a wireless terminal if you haven't just a little intermission while we're in the middle of this if you haven't checked out my whole seven video no six video coverage of applied energistics and i also did one for a2 i will link the playlist right now and I suggest you guys go check that out. So yeah, and then you'll see how to craft all this stuff that's from Applied Energistics, as opposed to just trusting me. But yeah, uh, to get the wireless crafting terminal, you're going to need a Fluix Pill, a wireless terminal, and a Emmy crafting terminal. Now this guy's need going to need to be charged, obviously. And to do that, you're going to need a charger and probably some power, so energy cell, which you can't get a creative energy cell in just regular but yeah it's charging up the guy and then once you've got this guy as well to link him up which i will just show you a quick thing of you're gonna need a controller and a security terminal probably so like that and like that and then yeah this guy's got a bit of charge in him now let's chuck him in there and it'll go into that slot up here and then you take him out of here and it's linked and you can open it but there is wire uh, yeah you need this thing as well the wireless access point and then you can see what's in your system if there was anything in my system and you just leave it in there to charge okay so the next thing we have is the magnet card um and basically it just automatically inserts um, items into the system but this is made with five iron blocks, two a uh, piece of redstone, piece of lapis block, an Emmy annihilation plane, and an advanced card. So you pop this guy in here, and there's obviously a white list in it. So if you only wanted, like, for example, when you pick up cobblestone, if I just wanted, wrong thing. So if I whitelist that and put this guy in here, you'll see that if I pick up a piece of cobblestone, as there's no storage in my system. Uh, let me just grab a drive and a 1k storage cell. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll fix it. Okay, so if I drop this on the floor, pick it up. Well, that's a magnet that automatically inserts items into the AE network. It's in the slot. This is how it works. That can go into there. One sec, guys. Okay, guys, it just turns out I'm dull. So you gotta shift, right click to activate it. Extra items added into added to inventory. So if I put this guy in here and throw this on the ground, why aren't you working? What if I draw like this? keeps deactivating okay there you go this this is annoying me now blacklisting okay you've got to click on it right right click on it in here so magnet card activated extra items added to inventory there you go, it's in there. We did it, guys. <laughs> okay, that's how you do it. Um, um, so yeah, that's basically all that does. And you can also change it to um, extra items left in it. Uh, items added to inventory, left on ground. So if I go like this, it just vacuums it in. So you can't drop anything, essentially. Okay, that's how that guy works. I do apologize for that. I do know how it works, I promise. Okay, so the final thing we have is the Infinity Booster card, and uh, this is a Fluix pill, two Fluix pills, and a wireless receiver in that pattern. 
and you can place up to 2.14 billion of these in the Infinity Boost card slot of a wireless crafting terminal to add the amount of Infinity Energy stored. Infinity Energy allows one user to craft blah blah blah. It allows you basically to have Infinity thing, but yeah, one of these it gives you 100 units of Infinity Energy. So if I go outside of the range of this and open it, then you'll see it's using the Infinity Energy. If I could just go back into range and put a few of these in. So we have 12k units now. Let's just dump a few of them in. So yeah, this, this basically just eats these things. So yeah, you want a good way of getting them. But yeah, 38k units. Let's just leave it open a bit. And yeah, this might actually take a while to use. And we can disable this magnet card if we want, blah de blah de blah. And we are not using these very quickly, and this isn't a good example at all, is it? I want it to drop, but it won't drop. There you go, 37k. See? It doesn't really last that long, they don't. But they last long enough, I guess. But yeah, that is the wireless crafting terminal, and you'll see when you go out of range it starts to glimmer because it's using the infinity energy but it's not actually using it unless you're in it like the energy essentially and yeah it does use the energy as well so yeah that is the wireless crafting terminal mod in a nutshell okay you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh this was the wireless crafting table mod and as always if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like subscribe hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below and i'll see you guys next time bye bye